this video, we'll be reviewing a custom LEGO Evolution of the Phoenix Evolution line, Sting Phoenix. This bay has an armor gimmick like any other Phoenix bay and a design that I just really want to talk about. So, without further ado, let's get on to the review. To begin with, when disassembling the bay, we can see the four parts. The chip, ring, disc, and driver. Let's focus more on the chip and ring, because that's where the more interesting stuff happens. Our chip phoenix is where the armor gimmick is housed. As you can see, there's a large ring surrounding this chip. In battle, the armor will come off, acting as a projectile during battle. And also, the base recoil is lowered when the armor is unattached, representing the rebirth of a phoenix, as old mythology states. This armor gimmick on Sting Phoenix is just like any other armor gimmick on the real Phoenix Evolution line. In addition, in comparison to the old Phoenix armor gimmicks that I made with LEGO, this new Sting Phoenix armor varies quite differently, as we're using hinges and not... And not what is that piece called? And not Lego hinge plate one by two. Continuing, our ring sting is probably one of my favorite rings I've made so far. I'd summarize this ring as the scythe ring, but made more for stamina and defense. A notable feature in this ring are the yellow overhangs on the sides. These overhangs help guard the disc and increase the defense potential of the bay from lower attacks. I'd recommend trying some combos with this ring. So far, the Nakahi chip and the Sting ring are a great pair. I'll gloss over the disc that comes with Sting Phoenix, which is Zero, because we've seen Zero a million times. It's been in literally every generation of the Birth series from God, and I've seen it so many times, I'm just sick and tired of it. The Pro Series Joker came with the Zero. I would appreciate it if it came with a different... <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Finally, the driver abraded is just literally the friction driver, but the rubber is a bit closer to the ground. The rubber might actually hinder the bay's performance, as it will burn through the bay's stamina near the end of battle, reducing all chances of life after death. However, I do admit that the rubber can pull off some pretty cool tricks during battle. <laughs> Oh my god. And if you are that concerned on performance, you might avoid contact with the rubber entirely using the correct frame. And I have proof in which that happens. No, quite literally, I have proof. And that's pretty much it. There's nothing else to the base in Phoenix. We got the armor gimmick, a beautiful ring design that is actually very practical for performance, and an interesting driver that I hope to test in battle. Now, speaking of battles, let's do some of those. 